Hello, it's Vic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm sharing a card today using Time for Tea products. These images are so sweet and they're super easy to colour. And I'm just showing you here just one mouse that I coloured because I'm going to concentrate more on the ink blending today. I've used my W5 marker for this mouse and I'm just going in around the darkest parts first and then I'm going to go in with my middle marker which is W2 and just going over the darker bits and then I'm going in with my W0 marker and the Baked With Love stamp set comes with four adorable mice images and there's some cheese and lots of accessories, spoons, bowls, chef hat, it's brilliant. And now I'm just using the RV42 for the tail and the ears. And I'm adding some cheeks and then I'm going in with my white gel pen just to add some little dots to the cheeks and around the bottom of the mice's body. And we have some matching dyes so I'm just going to go ahead and run these through my machine and this mouse actually holds the cheese. It's so sweet. And here's the standalone die, which is called Say Cheese. So again, I'm just quickly running this through my die cutting machine. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the ink blending. So to colour this cheese, I'm using Distress Ink. And I'm starting with mustard seed first. And I'm just covering the whole entire piece of cheese with this ink. And it looks a little bit radioactive at the minute so I'm going in with some orange colours. So this one here is spiced marmalade and I'm just gently pressing down on the corners of this piece of card and then I'm going to go in with the carved pumpkin which is a little bit darker and I'm just going ahead and darkening up the edges and the middle parts of the cheese just to blend the colours nicely together and it doesn't look so yellow. And Joe has also released a Say Cheese stencil, which will be brilliant for all your mice cards. And again, if you get this die, it doesn't have to be just a piece of cheese. You could use it as a sea scene and have some fish poking through or mermaids, turn it into a shaker card or just die cut it and use the circles. There's so many different options. So our piece of cheese is nearly done and I'm just going in with some water and just gently tapping that onto the cheese and then picking up the ink. And now we're moving on to the piece of card that's A6 size, the same as the standalone cheese die. And we're using the same colours to just gently ink blend the background. And I'm going to make this one a little bit darker so that you can see it peeking through the cheese. And this is the same Distress Ink, it's the Mustard Seed. Once all the yellow has been laid down, we're going in with the Spice Marmalade. Again, starting at the corners and just adding a little bit more pressure the further I go on in. And then the last colour I used is Carved Pumpkin. And again, we're just darkening up those corner edges and blending it all together. And then there's the piece of cheese on top. It is so sweet, it just cracks me up, that piece of cheese. And now I'm using some more Distress Ink, adding some water, and I'm just making some little splatters just to add a little bit more texture. And I love doing this on my cards. I think it just brings the cards nicely together. And that Distress Ink is carved pumpkin that I mixed with the water. So that's nearly done and I'm just having a look at the cheese and seeing how it looks with the Distress Ink behind it. And now I'm just cutting up some foam squares and adhering these down onto the piece of cheese. And I've got my stamped images ready and I'm just going ahead and seeing how they look. This one just oh, it makes me laugh. Um, and I'm just showing you now how I'm adhering them down. So I'm just sticking them through the little circles, making sure that they fit okay and just adding some more foam tape so they don't move 
once they're down on the card. And then I'm going to be adding this little one, peeking through the piece of cheese. Again, adding foam tape behind him to secure him down. And then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this to the ink blended panel. And here's our other little mouse that die cuts his little paws to hold the cheese, which oh, is just brilliant. I love it. And now I'm going ahead and just seeing where to put my other pieces of cheese and the cheesecake. I got so carried away with the mice and the piece of cheese that I forgot about my sentiment. So I haven't adhered the pieces of cheese down yet. So what I'm doing now, I'm just stamping out, it's your birthday, say cheese. Um, so that just cracks me up again. This has been so fun to work with. Anyway, I'm just adding some white embossing powder and I've used a paintbrush just to brush away the excess bits of the powder that doesn't stick. And I've just heat set that and now I'm trimming the sentiments down. And then once they're trimmed down, I'm just going to trim them down a little bit more with my scissors and I'm going to adhere them to my card. And again, I've used foam tape to tape the sentiments down along with the mice and the bits of cheese that are in the cheese. Um, and then the bits of cheese that are on top, I've just used some PVA glue. And now I'm just adding my final piece of cheese to my cheese card. And there we go. It's all done. And I've had so much fun making this card. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.